What it do YouTube, Immortal Soul 111, it's your boy Keisa, we back with another one. I said we back with another one. Thank you for tuning back into my video. Thank you for clicking on the channel, man. You are not here by accident. You are divinely guided. Hope y'all be having a beautiful day. Hope y'all be taking care of yourself, man. All is well. So, as y'all seen the title of the video, I'm gonna be making this video um, about my two years of practicing semen retention and give y'all my output on, on, on like how this journey has been treating me, you know, so far. I'm still going, man. This is a lifestyle. This shit don't stop. So without further ado, we finna kick it off with the um So starting off with this journey, you know, there's two types of this uh two types of levels of retaining your seed. One is no fat, the other one is monk mode. No fat is where you're 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 not watching porn, you're not playing with yourself, you're not um, you know, releasing basically right you're not releasing to to online websites you're not releasing to the hub now monk mo is a whole different story bro now monk mo is basically where you where you don't release at all bro you don't release with a female right you working out you hitting the gym you locked in on your purpose you got uh, you got your vision locked in on what you want right you're not letting nothing to come come and distract you that's what monk mode is, man. That's a bit of an extreme thing to do, but it's worth it. You know, it's necessary. I would say it's necessary. And for a disclaimer, man, the whole two years of me practicing semen retention, I did not retain my seed, right, the full two years. It's just not possible, right i started back in 2019 2020 early 2020 years that's when i got put on to um you know no fap and you know receiving retention so i have not been going the whole two years bro because i made a lot of mistakes that i have to learn from i relapse a lot of times bro and you know the good thing about it man is to not to stay there is to learn from your mistakes and move forward keep moving forward so what I noticed throughout practicing this journey is that it resets your dopamine levels. What is dopamine? Dopamine is the neural transmitter in your brain, right? That gives you that good feeling, you know, that motivates you, that um, rewards you. It's a reward system in your brain, right? Right. An example of that would be, you know, you've been working out hitting the gym, right, all day long. And then you come home and you, and you eat you a nice little snack. You eat you a piece of cake or a pie. You know what I'm saying? You just feel good, right? Because you know that you just worked out and now you're able to, you know, have a cheat meal or a cheat snack or whatever. So dopamine, when your dopamine is too high, right? That's when you all out of control, you just chaotic. Your energy is all over the place, right? Things that used to, you know, um make you feel good, don't make you feel good, things that you that you used to like to do, right? You just all of a sudden just don't want to do it. Right, so then when you practice retention, once you start retaining your seed, what happens? All of that is being reset, right? You be coming back pure, right? You resetting everything, all of those habits, all those negative thought forms. You resetting all of that, and you coming back, and you slowly coming back into your natural state, right? So that's why I think everybody, every man, should be practicing retention. Right, whether you get females or not, whether you want your purpose or not, whether you wanna whether you are where you wanna be in life or not, you should be practicing your seed, man. This is your essence from the most high. This this what gives you true masculinity. This what gives you power. And a lot of men don't understand, you know, what's in between their legs, man. The power of this. That's why a lot of men nowadays are emasculated. Right? So, what else I learned is that you cannot count the days, man. You just can't. Like, the moment you decide to, you know, keep track of your days, keep track of, like, how, how long you've been retaining, or, you know, like, you keep track of, of uh, the female attraction, all of those non benefit things that people, you know, um, 
get lured in you know because they hear other people talking about this the uh, female trash they hear other people talking about the glow what it does for you and all of this stuff bro none of that matters man when, once you get past those obstacles and you've been practicing uh retention long enough all of that stuff is just physical stuff bro it serves you no purpose them are just bonuses man on this journey so don't count the days man remember this shit is a lifestyle and you will be all right um it gives you high energy levels right it'll be some nights where you'll have so much energy where you just can't even sleep right or you just can't be still or you just gotta like use this energy you just gotta get moving like it gets you going basically what i'm trying to say right and that's when you want to transmute your energy that's when you want to use it and you know put that same energy that that you get when you feel like you want to go mess with a female or release you put that same energy into your purpose and watch how stuff start to grow start to move forward you start to create momentum for yourself i'm telling y'all man i experienced this firsthand bro um and you know you're gonna get urges right you still gonna get those those thoughts those lustful thoughts and to beat that is what i did was i took a lot of cold showers throughout my journey right like as y'all seen a thumbnail man y'all y'all can see my veins y'all can see my skin just looking smooth and just you know it just pops right um that all comes from cold showers me taking cold showers and you know i get a lot of sun you know i try to get as much sun as i could you know uh, we just got we just returned from a, a long winter in the midwest bro that's where i'm from so we wasn't barely getting any sun so what i had to do was drink vitamin water vitamin d water right lemon water um you know but when the sun is out i am getting that sun um it taught me how to run my own race how to be still and you know only focus on myself man don't worry about what the next person is doing focus on me do what is best for me put myself first right because i knew when i i had i was taught that throughout this journey man if you can't help yourself you can't help nobody else so y'all just keep that in mind um it allowed me to gain you know mental clarity that brain fog those weary thoughts all that stuff went away i remember throughout high school i had so much brain fog i had so much mental distortion up here just like it was my mind was just here there there now on top of that you know i was diagnosed as a adhd kid so i you can only imagine you know how i was bro and i'm sure a lot of y'all can relate to that bro but yeah retention te definitely teaches you how to be still man um it makes it easier for you to meditate also right if you've been struggling to meditate and connect with your thoughts connect with your inner self retention definitely connects you man it starts from the root shock remember it starts from your right your lower self right and then as you keep building building up that energy rises up through your chakras um what else force me to change my diet man i didn't wait i tried veganism man that didn't work right throughout my journey i was put on to that right so now i just eat fish man i eat lean you know meats uh salmon i eat a lot of broccoli a lot of eggs but it forced me to eat cleaner man and i noticed i had way more energy i feel way more energetic like i be noticing a lot of people that be working out when i be in the gym man they be barely just making it in the gym they be off creatine off pre-workout and all types of stuff me i could really just wake up every day man wake up early in the morning when the sun rises and just hit the gym with no effort with no problem that's a benefit that's a good benefit man that you will start to notice man as you retain your seed longer um it taught me how to be myself man most importantly like in a society full of copies full of people who want to who want to be the next person that's popping that's that's trending that's hype right it teaches you how to love yourself right how to be true be true to who you are be honest with yourself most importantly because when you constantly releasing man you're not honest with yourself your throat chakra blocked how you gonna be honest with yourself you ain't telling the full truth and i realize that man i'm able to be honest with myself now man fully completely i wake up every day with no worries with no 
no skiving, man. I cared. I do not care. Right? I'm gonna be me to the day I live, lead this earth. And that's straight up, bro. Um, it teaches you how to uh stop being nice, man. Like before, man, when you constantly release and release and release, man, you tend to just, like become a sort of a people pleaser, where you just not masculine. You not like your testosterone is pretty low. Right, because like your body is trying to keep up with your releasing, you know, it's trying to keep up with all of that nutrients being lost, right? Masculinity, that power, that energy. So you ain't gonna be too assertive, man. So that's one thing, man. I noticed on this journey, it taught me how to stand up for myself, man. Speak if my voice shakes, to just speak up, basically, man. Um, yes, the female trash. I could add that in here, but. Like I told y'all, that's not a benefit, man. Because if you're doing this for the female attraction, for women, you ain't gonna last long on this journey. You just not. So I ain't gonna I ain't gonna speak on that. But it do it do make you easier. It do make it way easier for you to communicate with other people, connect with kids, man, older people, man. Like I be having so many older people, older adults, like just come up to me and just spark conversation with me. Like, I never used to have that growing up. But all of a sudden, when I start retaining my essence, you know, I start becoming pure, right? Older people, they see that, man. Other people that I come in content with in public or whatever, man, they see my light. Y'all can see my light, man. It's nothing to brag. I'm just stating the obvious. But anyways, um, um, most importantly, man, it just, um, it forces self-discipline. It just forces you to just work on yourself. It forces you to work on your flaws, the things that you just don't like about yourself. It brings that to the surface and allows you to work on that. Shadow work is very important on this journey, man, because you're going to have some days where you just don't have no energy, where you just don't feel like doing anything. But y'all got to remember, man, that's when it's important to do the thing that you don't like to do, that you don't want to do. That's when you got to take care of those things. That's when you got to, you know, pull yourself together and hit the gym. Right, go for that run. Go spark that conversation. Go for you don't care on this journey. You just don't. Not saying that you become reckless, but you just don't care what other people have to say about you. Right? You just focus on you. You just trying to do what the most high tell you and you just you know, you on your journey. That's the best feeling, bro. Knowing that you being protected like that. Yeah, and you definitely are protected, man. You ain't gotta have no worries. Abundance comes to you Some days where it just feel like you just flowing You just on cloud nine You just You just here man You become more in tune with yourself More alert um, No matter what benefits you may encounter on this journey Y'all gotta remember to stay grounded Stay humble Because it can be here today And be gone tomorrow Don't abuse your authority That's what I had to learn a lot too In my journey man Be humble Right, you gonna you gonna have that testosterone. You gonna have that energy where it just make you just wanna clap back and just you know stand up for yourself. But you just gotta chill sometimes, man. Right, ask the Most High for protection. Ask Him to guide you, keep you grounded. Right, um, nature gonna play a big part in your journey too. Right, but that's it for the video, man. I ain't trying to make this video too long. We already at the 15 minute mark, man. So. If y'all enjoyed this video, man, y'all let me know in the comment section. And if you are new, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. Y'all have a beautiful day. All right, y'all. Peace. We gone.